Hello Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of January 3rd to January 9th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Okay. Um, I also wanted to say I'm a little bit sick, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I'm going through a little bit of a cold. All right, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me what is the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. All right, let's see. First card we have for you, Sagittarius, is Judgment, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Swords in Reverse, Two of Cups in Reverse, Ace of Wands, King of Swords in Reverse, Six of Cups in Reverse, and at the bottom, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Alright, let me just take a look here. I feel an energy of disappointment in your energy, Sagittarius. I feel like something... Somebody didn't hold up their end of the bargain. You were the only one who showed up. You were the only one who um, participated. And the other person left you hanging. There might have been some clarity um, that you received. With the moon in reverse, that can represent receiving clarity. But the clarity you received was negative. It it put a negative light on on a person or on a situation here. It made you realize that you were that you are alone or that you were alone. You thought you could count on someone. But it's like you realize now with the moon in reverse that you never really did um, count on them. Or they never really were a dependable or a reliable person. But you thought you could depend on them or rely on them. I feel like they they turned out not to be what you envisioned. Okay, well that's a little bit general there. Let's see if we can be more specific here. I'm going to look at these cards, Judgment, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. Let 
I do feel like there's someone coming towards you here in this energy. We do have two aces, ace of wands and ace of swords. Somebody is coming towards you. Um, but whoever is coming towards you, I feel like it's someone who ha who has let you down before. Yeah. I mean, this is the person that you had an epiphany over or who you had a realization over with the moon in reverse. So I don't feel like, you know, you, you already know what to expect from them. So I'm not sure why you're in, in this position because I feel like you're in the, t this is you, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Almost, you, you're feeling a little weak here. You're, you're feeling a little weak to their energy. This is someone who you care about, you know? That's why, that's why you're feeling that way because you care about them even though you know their flaws. Yeah, and I feel like you are feeling vulnerable to their energy. Um, I feel like there's a part of you that wants to go along with with them, go along with them. But I feel like you've already seen what happens. Like when you do go along with them, you've seen the consequences. Let's do a clar clarification here. Tell me about the judgment card spirit. Okay, we have Six of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah. I do feel like there's someone trying to get a second chance with you. It feels like a repetitive pattern though, or a repetitive cycle. And I feel like you've fallen for it though. Uh, like just feeling your energy, your energy feels a little weak. So I feel like you've fallen for this person maybe once or multiple times. What's the, what let's see what they're saying here. Ace of Swords for it. Clarify Ace of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse and the judgment card. And what's the eight of wands? There's a lot of communication here. Seven of swords in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. It feels a little bit sneaky to me with the Seven of Swords. Feels to me like they're, they're using you here for something. What's the Ten of Swords spirit? The Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like someone is trying to... <clears throat> Like, uh, they're trying to, you know, make you feel again for them. They're trying to provoke you. I think this is someone who knows the effect that they have on you. Yeah, someone knows exactly the effect that they have on you, so... I feel like they're trying to kind of stir up your emotions again. What's the two of cups in reverse? Emperor and the strength card in reverse. This is what I feel like is your energy. I feel like on the outside, you might appear like you are strong or in control. 
But with the strength card in reverse, I don't feel like it's true. I feel like you <clears throat> have a lot of weaknesses for this person. Um, I think you feel more for them than they feel for you. Is what I'm getting here. I don't think they feel for you as much as you feel for them. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The World card in reverse and the Magician in reverse. Yeah, this is a manipulation energy. Someone trying to manipulate you. Someone trying to... Um, work you. They're trying to work you. What's the King of Swords in reverse, Seven of Cups, and the Tower? Yeah, this is someone who has left you before to be with someone else. Almost like a player energy. <coughs> this feels like a player. Yeah, this is someone who has put you as, as a second option. Tell me about the Six of Cups in Reverse, Page of Swords in Reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I feel like you keep waiting for this person. But even though you know they're not good for you though. You know they're never really going to change, you know, but uh, you might be still clinging on to the hope that that they'll become someone more decent than what they are right now all right let's see how does this person see you because i'm curious here and how do you see them spirit angels and guys how does this person see sagittarius oh. Alright, <clears throat> the way they see you, Page of Cups in Reverse, Two of Pentacles, King of Wands, Devil in Reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they see you as someone who, you know, might be tough on the outside or might appear tough on the outside. But inside, they know that you have a soft spot for them, and they know that you are easily, like, influenced by them with the Two of Pentacles. At least that's how they see you. Two of Pentacles means that, you know, you're influenced by their energy. How do you see them? Spirit, show me how does Sagittarius see this person. Chariot. King of Cups. Five of Wands in Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, so you see them as someone who is um, charming with the King of Cups. You might see them as someone who's like uh, emotional. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who tugs at your heart. You might see them as someone who tugs at your heart. Who know, they know how to how to create feelings in you. But with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you see this you see this person as someone who is not um who is not pursuing you. Someone who's more focused on their on themselves, on their work, on their finance, on their money. Yeah. Someone who's all about themselves. They're more focused on their work, their finances, their money, their career. You might see this someone 
see this as someone who's very slow. They move very slow. They might be long periods of time without contacting you or speaking to you. But it's like whenever they do contact you, it's like they they know how to impact you. They know how to make you feel all sorts of emotion. All right, hopefully that made sense, Sagittarius. Let's move on to your person's energy for this week. Spirit, angels, and guides, show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Let's see, first card is Six of Swords, Three of Swords in Reverse, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Strength card in Reverse. <laughs> Definitely feel like this is someone who gives you mixed signals, Sagittarius, okay? They leave you and then they come towards you. Very back and forth. There might be a third party situation with the Three of Swords. This person might be juggling between you and somebody else. They struggle to make the time for you. I do feel like they're distracted with something or someone else. Whenever they come towards you, it's like they need to be hiding, hiding themselves. <coughs> yeah, because we have the Seven of Swords, so it's like secrets. It's like they have to secretly find time for you, or they have to, when they come towards you, it's like in secret. Very stubborn. <coughs> Yeah, someone very stubborn, someone who kind of does their own thing. They live by their own rules. They're not, they don't really pay attention to other people or they don't think about how other people feel. You know, they're just kind of very ignorant here or... I don't know if ignorance is the right word. Like, they're very, um, I want to say pretentious. Very pretentious. Tell me about the Six of Swords, Spirit. Ten of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups. Five of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this energy of they leave you or this is or it could be an energy of like they cause conflict, they cause drama, but then they come towards you to apologize and to fix things. And I feel like it's a repetitive cycle with this person. I don't feel like they ever really have time for you, like whatever time they make for you is very small. And I feel like overall they just, they kind of fill you up with false ideas, I feel. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this is someone who is like, you're never really, they never really belong to anyone. Not really, they might make you feel like they belong to you, but... They never really belong to anyone. <coughs> <clears throat> Alright guys, so I'm going to stop the reading here. I'm, if, you, if you resonated with this reading, you can follow me in the extended. I'm going to take a look at what are this person's real feelings for you. We're going to take a deeper look at what are their real feelings for you and what are their real intentions with you. 
and also what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week all right thank you so much for watching sagittarius i really appreciate it please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you i'll see you in my next video bye guys take care